You might think you have to be a certain type of cook to be successful as a personal chef. Maybe you think you have to be super A-type, everything's perfect all the time. Or maybe you think you have to create something out of nothing and create all your recipes and invent lasagna. Look, there are some successful personal chefs like this, but there is a whole range of types and styles. And honestly, most people fall into a couple. So let's find out what type you are and what your challenges might be. Hey there, Chef Shelly here. I've had a successful personal chef business for over 15 years and when I'm not cooking for my own clients, I help passionate cooks just like you start your own personal chef business so you can get paid to do what you love, cook on your own terms. If that sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that little bell so that you never miss one of my weekly videos. I asked almost a thousand passionate cooks in my free Facebook group. There's a link below to join it if you're interested. And you might think they all fell into one category, but honestly, the results were all over the place. Here they are. The innovator, okay? This kind of cook combines elements of different cooking styles and creates unique modern dishes. They like blending traditional techniques with new trends. They like evolving their culinary vision. Innovators are versatile, they're adaptive, and it makes it really easy for them to cater to a diverse client right? Different type of people who want different things and have different preferences. But where they might struggle is having a client who wants the same dish exactly the same way every single time. In line with that, boredom can also be a real issue for the innovator. The magician. Able to make an exquisite meal even when the Cupboards are bare and the fridge is empty, right? We all know one of these if we're not one ourselves. They intuitively just know what ingredients go well together. They can even fix recipes that somebody else might have messed up. They love to cook, but sometimes can find it so effortless that they just don't have any recipes written down, you know? If this is you, maybe you cook by taste. You never have the same dish twice the same way. And while this is great at home, this isn't great when clients want consistency. Maybe you identify as the planner, also known as the A-type. Everything has to be cut exactly the same. Everything has to be in its place. These people are big into mise en place. They clean as they go. Their aprons always clean. Honestly, this isn't really me at home at all. I wish I was a planner at home, but I am not. Planners do the best when they get all the thinking done ahead of time, and then at cooking time, they just focus on cooking. If you're a planner, I am not going to ask you to throw together a meal without letting you make a list and go to the grocery store first, right? People like this would never make it on Chopped right? Fridge needs to be stocked. Pantry needs to be full. Planning the week's meals at one time, maybe even batch cooking them. If this is you, you might be a natural to do weekly meal prep services, but your challenge may be what to do when something goes wrong, and it will, and thinking on your feet. The mad scientist, all right? They don't like to follow recipes. If this is you, your idea of cooking is playing. Your moods are more likely to be spontaneous when it comes to cooking. If you're challenged by documenting recipes and keeping the same again, it might be a challenge. And this type of person has a tendency to be a kitchen destroyer, which can make your cook days so much longer. On the plus side, you'll always have new dishes to offer to clients and they'll never get tired of them. Here are some that are more like aspects of your main cooking style, like the gourmet. 
loves to focus on high-end, intricate recipes that require attention to detail and specialty ingredients. If you believe that a dish, if it doesn't have seven different components, you might as well be eating a bowl of cereal, that might be you. This can be great if your client base is really, really into food, but if this is your style, it can really be a challenge to keep your cook days to a reasonable length of time and not feel like you need a week off after every cook day. So which one of those do you really think about? Which one, which characteristic do you think defines your cooking style? Honestly, any passionate cook can make a great personal chef with a successful business. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. You just need to be aware of them and make sure that you're compensating for them and developing your skills and your weak areas so that you love your cook days instead of being overwhelmed and exhausted. If you need to practice your weekly meal prep services, you can get my free guide below, How to Do Weekly Meal Prep Services for Clients. You'll be able to go through this, everything from choosing the recipes to doing the list, the shopping, the cooking, the packaging, the cleaning, and find out maybe what style you are and what things you need to work on. Because once you get this mastered, the clients are out there and they're hungry for what you're cooking.